Welcome back. There is new evidence. Vitamin D might protect against colon cancer. A large new review of research from the American Cancer Society and other groups finds people who have higher blood levels of vitamin D have a lower risk of developing colorectal cancer. More than 140,000 people are expected to be diagnosed with colon cancer this year. So uh, before you soak up the so-called sunshine vitamin or start popping vitamin D supplements, there are several things you should know. We want to welcome in Dr. David Chalefsky, gastroenterologist at Hartford Hospital. And what do you make of this new research about vitamin D? So, Kevin, this is a very interesting study that came out. Uh, it suggests that there's an association between vitamin D and reducing your risk of colon cancer. Now, uh, this took a bunch of researchers, over 50 researchers around, around the world, and approximately 12,000 patients. And what they found is that individuals who have lower levels of vitamin D below normal have a increased, up to 30% increased risk of developing colon cancer. And individuals who have a higher level of vitamin D in their bloodstream above normal have a statistically significant reduced risk of developing colon cancer. Now, keep in mind, this is just an observational study uh, which only can determine association. So all we can say right now is there's an association between vitamin D levels and colon cancer risk. We can't determine causality, cause and effect. Sure. That would be a randomized controlled trial that would have to be done. So the jury's still out on it, but it does raise some interesting concepts. Well, for a minute, we assume going forward that this research proves out to be true. If people want to start taking vitamin D, we certainly know that there are other proven health benefits. Is there a particular type of vitamin D people should be looking to take? I mean, there's so many options out there when you go to your local pharmacy. Right, so vitamin D3 is the one that is most commonly recommended because it's similar to what you get from direct sunlight. That being said, uh, direct sunlight is the most popular one, the sunshine tough vitamin. Tough to get in these parts for much of the year, unfortunately. Very tough. Unless you live below South Carolina and in L.A., then uh, you're not going to get as much. Uh, however, if you do go outside, supposedly, for about 10 to 15 minutes in direct sunlight, you can actually, your body will produce about 200 international units of vitamin D. Now, keeping in mind the standard recommendations now, for daily doses of vitamin D is about 600 to 800 international units. So that's one way to get it. However, keep in mind that those of us in the medical field would rather people not utilize direct sunlight only as their source because it is direct sunlight and you get exposed to UV rays sure. which can cause skin cancer. In 10 seconds, is direct sunlight in those 200 you're talking about, is that better than, than taking a, a supplement? Not necessarily. Uh, we can get it from fatty fish. You can get it from supplemented uh, foods like cereals and dairy, but no, not necessarily. In fact, we encourage people to utilize diet and supplements sometimes uh, and maybe reduce your sunlight exposure if you get too much of it. But the real takeaway here is that getting your vitamin D, regardless of how this study plays out, is very important. Doctor, Absolutely. we appreciate your time. Great. We'll do it again. Thank and, you very much. Uh,